Now, we'll be looking at um, the general method in constructing polygons. Now, in this general method, it is you use it when the side of the polygon is given. Probably you want a polygon of 30 millimeter uh, distance. The side between one of one of the sides should be 30 millimeter. So, like, if I want to draw a polygon and I said one side is 30 millimeter or another side, so use this particular general method. So let's start. Now, you draw your line. Let's say I have my horizontal line this way, right? And I pick up a point. That point there is my point A. And I want to draw my polygon, 32 millimeter. This is from here, this is 32 here. Right? And that is my point B. So, I will, let me take in this aspect, A to B. Right? Now what you do is, you take your 45 degrees S square, which is this, and you move it to your point B, which is here. Right? And you draw your horizontal line this way. Is that your inclined line this way? And you take it to the other aspect too. You do the same thing. You move it to point A. You see that it's sliding on my T square. So you slide it to A. And you draw this also. And it meets here. So where they meet at this point here, you call it uh, point 4. Are we good? Now you do the same thing. So you don't really need this aspect here. Now, I'll do the next one also. I will go onto my 60 degrees S square and I'm going to move it to this point. So I move it to point B also. And I'm going to draw the inclined line at an angle of 60. I will switch it the other way around too. I move it to A. I'll do the same thing. Right? So this is my point. I'll call it 6. Point 6. Is that again? Now you join 6 and 4 together. Two points makes a straight line. So you join 6 and 4 together. You join things are four together and you're having something like this. Can you see that? So now for you to get point five, you have to bisect point six and point four. So I'll take my compass with radius four and six. Can you see that? With your four and six, I will strike an arc at this edge, strike an arc at this side too. And I'll go to 6 also. I'll cut the mirror bisecting. So, where they meet, they are meeting at this point here. I'll make them pass through the center of each of this intersection. So, I'm having this. So this is my point 5. Right? So, if I continue in that manner, taking radius of Four, five, and six. Taking five and six. Five and six. Come here. Seven. Eight. Nine. And so on and so forth. So this will be my point seven, my point eight, my point nine. Until as much polygon as I want. Now the next thing I'll do here is that if I want a heptagon by seven sides, I'll place my compass at this point on the seventh point 
and I'll move it to my point A here right this is my point A here I mean move it to point A here and use that to draw your circle can you see that take it to point A and you draw your circle that is one so if I place it at B now and A, this is the side of the polygon I want, which is 32, right? So, and I want to draw heptagon to several sides. So with the radius of A, B, I'm going to move it around the circle. This is second line. This is line one, line two. I'll come again, line three. I'll come, line four. I'll come, line five. Oh good, and I also have so come here also. Place it here. And you got this. Are you seeing that? Now we do the same thing continuously from here. We call this. I call this. That again. So you are going to join those points together from here. I'm going to join this point and this point. I'll join this point and this point. I'll join this point and this point. I'm going to also join this point and this point. I'll join this point and this point and I'll also join this point and this point right so this is what a heptagon so from this same circle also I can also draw my I also draw my octagon. If I place it here, I will move it to this point A, mm -hmm. and I'm going to draw my circle. Draw this. Draw my circle, right from point A because I want each side. So I'll do the same thing. So with the radius of this, because they are all the same, with the same radius of these two points. Mm -hmm. radius of a b you take it to point a you start marking around the circle two three four five and so on right so you are going to join the circles together to get your head top on So, so. so you continue doing that this side so if you want nine and so on and so forth if i want the ninth side i'll go to the ninth side i'll draw my circle from nine i'll take it to point a i'm going to draw my circle and so on and so forth thank you very much